Hello, Beauty News family. Welcome to Beauty News. Yes. Today is the 23rd of November edition. We are discussing new release makeup and beauty products and also updating you on some stuff, stuff. we've spoken about before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had a big week. We have had a big week. <laughs> Unexpectedly. Yeah, you probably noticed. Uh, yesterday, we uploaded our uh, Black Friday sale video yes so um if you haven't seen that and you want to do some black friday damage mm -hmm. um fair you should go and watch that yeah so with that video um we haven't filmed it yet so who the fuck knows what's in it yeah but um we you know a lot of stores have sales and we don't know all of them yeah. so um what we asked people to do in that video is to leave other sales they've come across in the comments mm -hmm. so Watch the video, but then also check out the, the comments. comments. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. there'll be more deals yeah. there. Um, there are some new releases that are happening um, in today's video. Or not. There are new releases happening this week, but because they're releasing on Black Friday, we'll talk about them in that video. Yes. So if you're like, have you not seen the blah, blah, blah? Yes. It might be in that video. Yeah. Maybe. All right, we'll start with updates. And uh, we've seen... So we had this little sneak peek from BH Cosmetics. Something was coming on the 22nd of November and they did allude to it being a sister palette uh, to something else and it was a sister palette to the Zodiac palette. So mm -hmm. we have seen it, like Trend Mood had the exclusive on it. Uh, it's the Zodiac Love Signs palette. Now mm -hmm. it is the same design as the original palette, but this has a lot more oranges like reds and then also sort of teal blues mm. um, and a couple of nudes. So, yeah, it is it is what it is. I th a lot of people are interested in this because they really like the original palette. Yeah. I'm going to say I feel like the original palette was more current than this palette. It's like they've swapped. They've This palette was cool a year ago and the original palette is cool now. Yeah. It's like they've swapped. Yeah. Um, but this is going to be $19.50 for a limited launch. And then it will go up to $24 being the original price. Uh, so, yeah, 24 eyeshadows, 12 shimmers, 12 mattes, and one highlighter in the middle. Um, Colourpop Holiday. Yes. So, we've seen the collection in its entirety. It is currently available. So, we'll start with the... Um, the pack. This yes. is called This Is Not A Dream Collection Set. It's $290 and it contains everything. Everything. Everything that they are releasing. And I'm not going to lie, when I look at this, the colours make my brain tingle yes. and I want it. I even like the makeup bag, how it's got that yeah. iridescent dreamy shift mm -hmm. to it. I think the colour story here is really good. I know. I want this. Yeah. I want it all. I don't I don't want it all. No. I actually really do not want it all, but when I see it like this, I want it all. Yeah. yeah. Um a lot of people, you know, are digging this or or parts of it and a lot of people are finding that this is probably too similar to their uh, My Little Pony collection yeah. or other people like that. They think it's like an extended version of the My Little Pony collection. They really liked that. But on the screen I'll put a comparison with the eyeshadow palette and the My Little Pony one. And when you can find almost when you look, when you can find a dupe from a different brand, you're like, oh, that's fine. It's a different brand. ColourPop are putting their yeah. spin on it. But when they're literally taking their own palette and, and just expanding on yeah. it, it yeah. it's kind of like you didn't. It's, mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the vibe of this, I'm digging, and a lot of people are digging yeah. as well. Uh, so there is the Chasing Rainbows palette. Um, that's twenty US dollars, and there is the Liquid Lipstick Vault. This is eighty dollars. I want it. The colors just I make know. me. They were smart with that. They were like. They were smart oh, with that. Give me that rainbow. Yeah, because this is a mix of different finishes. So yeah. lip glosses, satin, liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks. But for some reason, I don't think I want any of them individually. No. But as a pack, I'm like, I'm, I want it. it it's, isn't it <laughs> strange? Yeah. yeah. And the holographic lids. Yes, I know. Oh, They're I really them. pretty. I would love it if they were like fantastic liquid eyeshadows or something. That's true. That'd be a great. Like that. Oh, God. Just. 
Yeah, I agree. Oh. Um, then we have the double rainbow shadow kit. So this is six of the Super Shock eyeshadows. That one is $25. Then we have the Dream Baby Dream Lippy Kit. This one's, again, $25. It contains six um, lippy sticks. We have the Dream Sequence Super Shock Highlighter Palette. 18 US dollars and the this is not a dream makeup bag which is ten dollars mm -hmm. very pretty uh, then we have jelly much shadows these are eight dollars each and the shades we've got are morning light there's also hallucinogenous Okay, uh, Sweet Dreams, Crystal Castle, No Rest for the Vivid, Wide Awake, Into Focus, and Wavelength. I mm. Yeah, some of them are really nice. Um, uh, you can I really want that peachy sort of I want pinky. I want Sweet Dreams, the one that almost looks pinky with a cool Purpley, shift. Cool, yeah. Yeah, some of them are really nice. This is a this is a formula that I've been wanting to try. Yeah, me too. But I've been struggling uh, wanting to buy a couple of items from yeah. ColourPop. It's yeah. almost like you have to go big or go home. Yeah, I personally feel like you do. And yeah. Kat and I are lucky. Like, we can split an order to sort of get it up to that free shipping cap. Mm -hmm. We are both those people with the, the free shipping thing you're like yep. buy extra don't pay for shipping yes um but yeah it's just kind of hard because previously the colors i liked them but i wasn't so drawn to them that i had to have them mm -hmm. so yeah i'm also gonna say the glitterally obsessed mm. so there are nine of these new yeah. shades i fucking love the colors too they're really pretty, aren't they? But once again, individually, I'm like, I don't really need any. It's number six is glorious. Yeah. Avenue of the Stars. But lined up on like swatched on an arm. I'm yeah. like, the color story is so, so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. So, you know, those um, are $8 each as yeah. well. And you can buy the liquid lipsticks and glosses and metallic lip things all individually. They're $6 each. Yep. Um, and you can buy the um, Super Shock Shadows individually as well. One thing I like about the Super Shock Shadows this year is the packaging. Each of them have different yeah. packaging and like the inner rim and the outer packaging are different colors. So yeah. it looks mismatched, but really cool. Yeah. I'm digging it. I, I like, like it. it. I like the inspiration. I don't think like, I think there's something here for everyone, but yeah. also it's not a necessity for everyone. So That's correct. Okay, ColourPop have also announced that their No Kill LA collaboration is happening again for the third year in a row. Mm -hmm. So this is launching on the 21st of November. So by the time you're watching this, it's already out. Um, and it is for Super Shock Shadows. Mm -hmm. So you can buy it. <gasps> that last one. Yeah. 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 So you can buy them, I think, in this pack. So cute. Um, or you can buy them, I'm pretty sure, individually. Right now, we don't have all the details. We've just seen this video that they've put on Instagram. Um, but you can see the packaging is actually really cute this year where they've got a cartoon um, sort of face on the lid yeah. rather than just, you know, ColourPop X whatever NCLA, yeah. yeah um nkla they are so cute Did i we love say, them oh no, i said, said no yeah. i said ncla but it's nkla yeah. so if you are interested in this um all proceeds are donated to best friends animal society which is no kill la so well, also known as no kill la so yeah. yeah it's a it's a cute one um cab on deep okay so we finally have an update on the lolita palette it's here and it's not just a palette no there's also an everlasting um glimmer veil liquid lipstick mm -hmm. thing and um an inkwell liner yes mm. so they're all in the shades that are sort of similar to uh the lipstick lolita, the yeah. lolita lipstick this is actually dropping the 10th of december so uh, -huh. yeah. uh there's nine it's a nine pan matte eyeshadow palette um with dusty rose sort of inspired colors a lot of people are digging this a lot of people are saying that um this is last year's news which is mm -hmm. fair i think these That's color fair. stories were coming out a lot last year mm -hmm. uh, with brands like dose of colors having that mode yeah. one that was all matte you know this is you can dupe this time and time again yeah um but people are saying that this is more inspiring than her previous releases so That's fair. i can respect that as well yeah um 
It is what it is. I feel like this looks a little bit like the uh, Huda New Nudes without the shimmery shades and darker. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like that like, that pinky nude. Yeah, I like the colours. Um, I'd wear them, but I wouldn't need them. Yes, that's And because it. I don't support Kat Von D, I don't I give a flying fuck. I won't be buying fuck. it, no. Um, but what I thought, thought was really interesting, people... Um, in the past, I've had a lot of issues with the name Lolita mm. because look it up. It's yeah. it's a li- it's, it's a, a thing. A, it's a novel mm-hmm. that's not great. Yeah. Well, well, not a great, not a not a good topic. Yeah. 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 So yeah. so people saw that um, paying or, or naming a shade after that particular story was very distasteful mm. and. Um, so I found it really interesting that Kat Von D Beauty decided to post this, which is explaining how the name originally came about. Yeah. And it was, uh, did you know our iconic Lolita Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Shade was originally named after a close family friend of Kat Von D? I was just like, you guys like are covering your asses far too late. I feel Far like she too late. Has, I feel like she's addressed this in the past and never ever ever No, I ever haven't heard that story either. That. Yeah. I've heard her address a few things like why'd she name her lipstick underage red yeah. and um why but yeah, I've never heard her I I know that she's very inspired by literature. Mm, yeah. So I think it's not a hard uh reach to assume that she did name it after the book the, the book. Yeah. But um I love that they would, yeah, they're going into damage control big time. Yes. Uh, yes. To be cool. But there's a few other things. Yeah. Um, so the next one is we talked about the crushes. So mm. they're calling it on, on Sephora Current Crush. Yes. The glitter gel in gold. So this was where Kat Von D is saying that instead of releasing a whole collection and churning out trendy shit, they're just releasing key items as they're like current crush i guess mm. um so it's available now if you wanted it uh it's just a gold glitter gel glitter gel and i think it's 20 us dollars looks like they're app exclusive too yeah well probably because no one wants it well yeah and also taking up shelf space yes exactly right you, mm. you don't want to change the display for something that's constantly going to be evolving yes yeah, yeah. Okay, Kylie Cosmetics. Mm-hmm. So this is an update on her holiday collection. So we've seen the full collection and she is selling the whole collection as a bundle. This is retailing for 375 US dollars and it contains everything. A lot. Yeah, it contains everything in the range. Yeah. Um there's also a sm- that that's out of stock, believe it or not. I but how? But <laughs> Anyway, it's out of stock, but yeah. there is also a smaller bundle, which is Kylie's favorites, mm-hmm. uh, which contains a few things, and that's one hundred and six dollars and still in stock. But then you can buy all the items individually. individually. Yeah. So there's the Chill Baby uh, Kai Shadow Palette, forty four US dollars. There is also the Holiday Mini Eight Piece Lip Set. This is $42. I remember she did one last year and I liked it. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's a four-piece lip set. Um, So they are liquid lipsticks in a bundle, $42. And then there is the Kissmas Lip Kit, $29. There are four metallic lipsticks. These are bullets uh, and or bullet lipsticks. Uh, they're seventeen dollars each. There's Snow Cute, Stay Cozy, Cold as Ice, and brr, brr. <laughs> uh, then we have a super glot. What? Su- what? Super glot. <laughs> super glotter. Yep. Super. <laughs> You know, super, those things. Super glitter gloss. Uh, these are $15 each and there are the shades. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Snow Sparkle and Milk and Cookies. Can I just say, mm-hmm. Snow Sparkle looks really tempting. Doesn't it? Like how it looks on the model's lips. It I'm, looks lovely. I'm down. I'm down the, for um, it. The Milk and Cookies... It doesn't look like a gloss at all. No, it, it looks, almost looks like a matte liquid, yeah, li- matte metallic liquid lipstick, or oh like a God. powder highlighter yeah, dust it, on your lips. It does, yeah. it does. Then we have a highlighter in Snow Angel, twenty bucks. A blush in Winter Kissed, eighteen dollars, and a perfecting powder uh, in Your Perfect, 
eighteen dollars. I wonder if that's meant to be like a like a glowy yeah, like it might face be. Powder, maybe. It might be. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have ultra snows. So these are loose highlighters. We've got the shades Let It Glow, Merry and Bright. And then there's also three cream eyeshadows. These are $20 each in the shades Snowflake, Sleigh Bells and Northern Lights. Yeah, and then I think last there was a Winter Kissed and Snow Cute combo. Right. So it's like a bundle of two lip products. Okay. But that's yeah. also sold, sold out. out. So yeah, it's all available. Some of it's sold out. It's it is it is a thing. It's it's a thing. It's it a thing. It's yes. mo- we're moving on. Yes. Okay, Mac, the Mac Maker collection. Yes. So if you need a refresher, Mac Maker is where they hook up with influencers and they create like their perfect lipstick shade. Mm-hmm. They've released them all. Yeah. So this is the second year they've done it, and they did release these quite a few months ago i'm thinking july ish um but originally they released them exclusive to the region that that influencer is from yeah. so there'll be like one from canada one from north america or two from whatever it is like the they, uk and yeah, australia yeah, yeah they sort yeah. of they make them region exclusive. exclusives yeah but we did hear back when we were talking about them that they were going to be made um or all of them were going to be made available in the US, yeah. and now they are. Now, it does say that um, available online in select markets. Mm. So definitely in the US, all of the shades are now available. Some are sold out, but they are available. And I, you're going to have to check with your local Mac, Mac. stores yeah. to see if you're getting them as well, because it's hard. I think with... Um, I think with influencers and social media being global, so many, or just even liking a different color, like you have access to seeing all these things. Yeah. And, you know, chances are you don't want the one that's from your country. So, um, I mean, the the odds of that happening, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's good that they have released them all. I just think they should be, should have done it. Like, make it global. I agree. Like, or have like one Mac international website that just ships to everyone. Yeah. And have like if you don't want to stock them in all countries, I get it. Yeah. But just have them at least easily accessible online. Yeah. Because like Mac US doesn't ship externally elsewhere yeah. and Mac Australia doesn't ship anywhere else. So if you stop that from happening, it'd be a bit easier. Yeah. All right, we're talking about an update. Uh, this is only a really brief, not a brief update. We're going to be talking about it extensively Mm. but um the sneak peek of it i put on the screen in our last video but we didn't talk about it so if you did watch that and you weren't watching looking at something else you would have seen it on the screen yeah Um, but this is from melt cosmetics they're doing their second um sort of marijuana inspired collection Mm -hmm. this time last year they did the hot box collection and this one is the smoke sessions collection now, even though I uh, we just I'm just going against what we we're talking about at the start, this is releasing on Black Friday. Yeah. But it was also available for pre release. Yes. So yeah. you know, it we're, is mm, yeah, mm, whatever. We're, kind we're of, talking about it in We're news. talking about yeah, it. Yeah, we're talking about it. Um but this does have a palette. Now the palette is um a eight pan palette mm-hmm. and it's mainly green. They're saying like it's marijuana plant inspired yep. so you've gone from the dried plant through to the alive plant yep. and the components of it so that's where you get the color story and i think when you look at the shades individually like for example granddaddy you're like that's a bronze yeah but when you do look at it overall you can see the sort of um transition from green to sort of bronze yeah and it makes sense as a color story i think a lot of people um Okay, so in addition to this palette, which mm. is a Smoke Sessions palette, which is 48 US dollars, there are four lip products. They're liquid lipsticks, mm-hmm. um, and uh, you can also buy them in a pack. Now, the pack is not available to all countries because it also has a smoking pipe and a makeup bag, and the smoking pipe is illegal in, is some, illegal countries. in some countries. So you can't get that value pack everywhere um but you also can 
if you're in the US or I don't know where they're shipping the, the pipes to, but you can buy the pipes individually as well. Right. So you can buy a black one or a green one. It's up to you. Um, now, this is something that I think a lot of people are on the fence about. Um, I'll put the ad that they sort of sneak peeked. It is pretty much, I'm going to say it's a marijuana ad. Mm. And then right at the end, they sneak peek the pellet. <laughs> But it is. It's yeah, a marijuana ad. A little bit, yeah, um, yeah. And last year, I think, you know, we talked about the Hotbox collection and a lot of we got a lot of backlash from that. Yeah. Um, I think with this collection, I think since marijuana has become legal in a lot of the US and in Canada since that time, I get that a lot of people are excited about this. Like when I shared information on Instagram, a lot of people were like, they were tagging their friends and they're like, this collection is right up your alley yeah. so um there are some people that dig this for the inspiration mm-hmm. there are other people that hate this for the inspiration and think it's total fucking cringe and then there are people that like the inspiration don't like the colors and then there are other people that like the colors and don't, don't like, like the, inspiration. the inspiration yeah wherever you fall that is totally fucking fine yeah that is up to you where i fall is the last one i like the colors and i do, but i don't like the inspiration that's where i fall too. um oh. The colors aren't for you. The colors aren't yeah. actually for me. Yeah. But like, I like some of it. But like, look at yeah. Space Queen. I, it's, it's beautiful. Rad. It's beautiful. Yeah. There are some really beautiful colors in there. I don't typically wear a lot of greens um, simply because of my eye color. Yeah. The yeah. End. Exactly right. Um, yeah. But I'm, I don't like the inspiration either. But yeah. I don't give a fuck what people like. Fucking, you want it? You fucking buy it. Yeah. And, but I do want to talk about this. Like, I think. We're, like people are going to be like you're such prudes but i wouldn't like yeah it's fine it's it's legal in your country that's totally cool yeah. if that if that's what you want to do but also like c- cigarettes are legal in our in most countries yeah and i wouldn't want a tobacco inspired yeah palette so it's just i just think it's a bit tasteful um i also feel like this is a really big missed opportunity mm. because if you are going to go into a marijuana sort of smoke sessions palette that's when you hit up the fucking greens. Mm. Make an all green palette. Mm. You're already making it themed around green stuff. Yeah. Like I understand the bronzy yeah. parts because the um, like marijuana when it grows a bud, it's got like yeah. little hair type things in it, and they can be um, a bronzy color, but they can also be like red and purple. Yeah, and like. But I, I feel like if you put reds and purples in this, yeah. it would totally it would, ruin the palette. It would. But people are totally screaming for green palettes at the moment, and I am one of those people, so I'm like, fucking, I want you to do this right. <laughs> yeah. um, but the only palette that I've seen that has done an all-green palette remotely decent was Huda. Yeah. And so if they did eight shades of varying greens, they would have fucking smashed it. So... There are going to be people out there going, Kat, you are a critical old biddy, but I can tell you, I've actually already purchased this palette. So, ah, there we so, go. So, <laughs> like, I'm going to say, even though I sound like a f- I'm critical. Yeah. Yeah, but... There is an element... I, I hate that. Yeah. Like, you should be allowed to be critical without people being like, you're too fucking critical. Yeah, because that's what we, we get that a lot, you that are, people are like, you're so critical, you're so fucking... Look at how much negative. makeup comes out. Yeah. Like, you are critical by not buying something. Yeah. You're like, not worth my money, not interested in it. That is essentially what we are doing, but we verbalize Yeah, that's it. true. Like but, but even then, I actually woke up this morning early... And placed an order for this in the pre-release. Yeah. I actually set my alarm early. It ruined my fucking day. But I did it. <laughs> yeah. Not because I love, love, love this palette. Because once again, I think it was a missed opportunity. If you're yeah. going to go into it, greens and marijuana inspired, yeah. just fucking go ham. People yeah. want a green palette. And you would convince people who don't even like the inspiration to buy it. Yeah. The only reason I bought it is because I've been mulling over wanting the Gemini palette. Yes. And I was actually last week on the Melt website going, what else can I buy to justify yep. placing an order? I couldn't find anything. Yep. And then when I saw this, I thought this is a really good pairing with the Gemini palette. Because yep. the Gemini has the the matte greens. These have the shimmer Shimmering greens. greens and yep. I thought they pair perfectly. I'm going to get I'm both. I'm buying them both. Good. But it was mainly for the Gemini because I scoured my collection, couldn't find dupes. Yeah. I was like, I fucking want you. I'm buying you. But I didn't yeah. want to pay shipping. So that's why I bought it. But I feel like if they went really deep in the greens, 
you would convert people that don't even like the inspiration. Yeah. So I think they wussed out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to say that I don't love the lipstick colors. They're really no, kind of average. I'm not, I'm not so into it. there's like a pinky red, a dark brown color, um, a dark green, mm. and a pink color. Like they're just pretty average in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is this is them trying to recreate the the hype of the Gemini palette. And I can yeah. tell you that they haven't done it because the Gemini palette sold out pre-sale within, I think, like 45 minutes. And then on release date, within like 45 minutes, it's like fucking, I don't know, five, six hours after it was released and right now available. and it's still available. And I'm like, why did I set my fucking alarm? Mm. So that's that. That's that story. Okay, let's move on to some new things. Yes. Let's start with Clarisonic. Mm -hmm. They have uh, released, is it released or? Yeah, in the US it's released. It's out in the US. Okay, so it's a new um, cleanser head for your Clarisonics. This is the Sonic Exfoliator. Yes. So it is meant to be gentle and less irritating than traditional facial scrubs. Mm -hmm. So it's Um, 39 US dollars and it goes on all devices yes so you can see the photos here um a lot of people will be looking at this and going don't clarisonics exfoliate they will tell you through and through that the normal brush heads don't probably to some degree i think they really do (laughs) but um some a lot of people um have an idea of what a clarisonic is like based on like uh, copycats yeah that spin yeah. Now, if you have a brush head that spins, that's it's gonna buffing, definitely it's buffing your face. Yeah. But Clarisonics just rock. Yeah, they like oscillate. They oscillate. Sort of, yeah, and they almost like it's like a vibrate. Yeah. And so what that they claim it does is the brush heads um, sort of shift the oils and dirt yeah. from your pores. Yeah. Um, without actually exfoliating. Yeah. So it makes sense that they've brought out an exfoliating yeah. brush head. I personally feel like if you use your Clarisonic brush head, you'll definitely feel smoother yes which is and it's it's nice it's kind of like a before makeup yeah and i but i do think it does slightly yeah, exfoliate, yeah. even though they will say until they're blue in the face that it, that doesn't. it doesn't yeah um but this is actually a form of rubber yeah so it's not or a actu- silicon sil- or something yeah it's yeah. gonna be some sort of it's not a brush head it's a well it's a brush head, but it's made out of like a, a it's not, rubber. It's not, yeah, a yeah. rubber. It's yeah. not traditional bristles. Yeah. Yes, correct. Um, so kind of like a Foreo. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, that would be that would That's, be a Foreo yeah. dupe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we see what you've done there. Uh, yeah, we we'll see it. We we'll Yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay, Elf have announced that on the twentieth of November they are launching jelly highlighters. Great. Now. It's not the 20th of November Today. while we're watching this. Oh, while we're watching this. <laughs> while we're, while filming. we're filming this. So I can't tell you how many shades. It looks like there's maybe two or three, mm. but they are so similar that they could. it could be one. It could be six. Yeah. It looks like down the bottom. Seven. Who knows? Yeah. It looks like down the bottom corner there's more of a bronze one. Yeah. The middle's more pink and then it looks like maybe a more gold one. Yeah. But I don't know. It could be but one. There'll be something on the screen. Hopefully. You a bit more information. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we've got some more stuff from Kat Von D that actually have been released for a couple of weeks now, but we didn't give a shit. <laughs> but I figure that because we were, I was delving into the Kat Von D website yeah. anyway. We'll talk about it. We'll now. talk about it. Um, the Locket Foundation, they have released a travel size. Yeah. So it, it's the foundation that you know in a tube and yes. it's smaller. Yeah. It's instead of it being a full, I think, fluid ounce, yep. uh, it's half. Okay. So it's 15 mils. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it, this actually is better for travel. Yeah, I think so. So because tubes are generally pretty good in travel. Yeah. Unless they... A shit, and then they and they break, or and then, yeah. the cap comes off or something. Yeah, but th- this I wouldn't expect that. To no, happen. I'd hope not. Shouldn't. Yeah, but I feel like this is also probably more designed for the makeup artist uh, people mm. that they're trying to target because you can yeah. probably buy a bunch of these in your kit, mix and match, rather yeah. than having the um, full size. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've also released um, a Trooper Black Eyeliner Obsession Kit. Mm-hmm. So this is um, it's pretty much just their five styles of eyeliner in trooper black which is the true black color so if you like black eyeliner 
this might be one for you. Mm -hmm. So the value of this is a hundred dollars, but you're getting it for eighty eight. Mm -hmm. So you're not saving heaps. Oh, um, you know, you're saving twelve bucks. So it's not even buy four get one free. Mm. Not even that. No. Um, so you have to really like the liners. Yeah. All of them yeah. to want to buy that. But it contains the lash liner, dagger tattoo liner, the tattoo liner, ink liner, and the ink well liner. Correct. Ta it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's you'll, much, be, it's, you'll be set for liner for a while. You'll be set for, for liner while. for a year, for sure. Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about holiday stuff as we go through as well, because this isn't going to be a massive episode. Great. We think maybe we'll see. We fucking yeah. thought that a lot. And, and then it just they just keep blows coming. up in your face. Yes. Uh, Laura Lee. Mm -hmm. So we have seen her holiday collection. So uh, the collection consists of a bunch of things. You can either buy it in a pack. <laughs> the yes. pack, uh, it's called the Slay Bell Full Collection, 78 US dollars. And then you can start buying things in smaller, smaller packs. packs and individually. Yes. Yeah. So we've got the Slay Bell Liquid Lipstick Trio, $38. And the Loose Highlighter Trio, $32. Then we have the highlighters individually they're mm -hmm. 14 dollars each you've got sugar and spice warm and toasty and sweet and saucy yep okay yep uh then we have the liquid lipsticks so we've got pouty and nice rose icing and kismas these are 16 dollars each mm -hmm. and then we have the palette which is 19 dollars. it's a six pan palette two mattes four metallics Yes. So I think this is... Okay, firstly, um, I watched the video about this. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was very smart. Believe it or not, I'm going to say it, Very smart of Laura Lee. She did a video... Or she's been doing videos since her downfall. Yeah, yeah. The but, drama. But I had a look. She's gaining subscribers again mm -hmm. because she's got a giveaway giving away four of these packs and you have to be a subscriber and i thought you fucking smart girl <laughs> well done so it's funny though isn't it like, yeah i love that you get the lurkers just because you can they can win a prize uh which is weird but she did explain that this whole pack is sort of inspired by soft pinks and rose gold yeah um that this pack the the full collection is designed to look like a gift so mm -hmm. you don't need to like if you oh you don't need to wrap it you don't need to That's wrap it nice. yeah okay, it's nice yep. it's a metallic rose gold with a ribbon also if you buy it you'll get a signed card or something from oh, her that's nice. um yep. so if you've got a you know a laura lee fan in the family this might be a good one the loose highlighters are a new formula for her so mm -hmm. she's never released them these actually look really pretty swatched and on the skin and she yep. did try to cater for different skin tones mm -hmm. i gather um but I reckon they actually look really pretty. And the packaging looks like it wouldn't be super messy, which I was surprised by. The um, metallic lip is also a new formula. So prior to that, she's only done the matte liquid lips. Mm -hmm. And once again, you can see that they're all sort of pink yeah. themed. This palette, which I thought was interesting. So it does have some Christmassy colors. It's got like a reddy brown, which in some lights, like in this photo, it looks more brown. In other lights, it looks more dark red. You've got the sort of Christmas tree um, green. green going yep. on. But it's got the design that it's supposed to fit with the other small palettes in her range. Yep. So it won't look out of place. Like it's she's thought about it fitting into her, her permanent collection. Yep. Yep. Which I thought was sort of smart of her. So these are out if you want them. Um, they're all in stock. Surprise, Excellent. surprise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go. Look. She's still She's still at it. Kicking on. Fuck Kicking me. on. You Keep going. What are you going to do? Lay down in a ditch and die? Yeah. You just have like, to sometimes... Life goes on. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it actually really does. It does. You've got to yeah, get on with it. Yeah, believe it or not, it does. Yeah. Linda Holberg. So we have seen uh, her new palette. Mm -hmm. This is the Infinity Deep palette. Now, she did have the Infinity palette and she's created another one this is designed more for people with deeper skin yes um it is an eight pan palette and contains um shimmers and mattes and they're multi-purpose mm -hmm. use them for whatever you want the palette is 45 dollars mm -hmm. us dollars um yeah i think this is a like for a lot of people this is going to be probably looks pretty boring mm. but 
I think you have to remember as well that Linda Hallberg started out as a makeup artist yes. brand, yeah. and this is a good palette for a kit. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe I her last palette, the original one, won awards. Like it was, yeah, won awards. It wow. was highly regarded as a makeup artist palette. So this is her expanding on that. So yeah. is it reinventing the wheel? No, no, but. but you know, it it's is, expanding it's her a, collection. Yeah, and it's meeting a demand that mm -hmm. the other one didn't. So, yeah. mad props for I it. like the colours. Yeah. I really like them. I think they're nice as well. I'm like, I still like warm eyeshadows. I can't help my fucking self. Uh, so, there you go. There you go. All right. Big news mm. that a lot of people were very excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't blame them. So, Lisa Eldridge... You might know of her. Maybe. She's the creative director of Longcom. She is. But she is she was the creator of the Rose Highlighter. <laughs> yes. uh, but she's also a big YouTuber, yeah. famous makeup artist to the stars. Uh, so, yeah, you would know. If yeah. you watch us, you would know who Lisa yeah. Eldridge is. And if you don't look her up, you'll enjoy her content. But she has come out. Well, announced that she's releasing a lipstick range. Now, I believe this is a limited edition lipstick range. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be sold internationally on lisaeldridge.com starting from the 19th of November. Right. Uh, so they're going to be £26 each. Mm -hmm. And there's three lipsticks. So there's Velvet Morning, which is an orange red. Velvet Jazz, which is a brick red. Velvet Ribbon, which is a neutral blue red. Mm -hmm. um, and they're supposed to have um, a long wear formula with a subtle a subtle finish. And it's supposed to be like a velvet fabric. Right. Which I think is interesting. There should be a photo on the screen of her, I think, hinting at wearing one of them. Right. And it looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people are keen on this. A lot of people are wondering how she's done this and still works for Lancome. Generally, like you can be the creative director she didn't of a sell brand. Sell her soul to the devil. Yeah, like, yeah. She, she can just still works for. She's just got multiple brands yeah. happening now. She's yeah. a makeup artist. She and also like, I'm sure that the Lancome job is quite demanding. Yeah. But it's sort of like looking, picking trends and forecasts mm. rather than sitting at a desk job nine to five. Like she. Does other things. Yeah. So, yeah, clearly in her contract, she can still make her own makeup, yeah. which is what she's doing. And I know a lot of people are interested. I love red, so I think um, I'm interested too. Yeah. Good on her. Yeah. All right, L'Oreal. We have um, some new lip products from L'Oreal. So mm -hmm. these are the Rouge Signature Matte Lip Inks. And it looks like these are a hybrid formula between... A lip stain and a lipstick. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it glides on smoothly like a liquid yeah. before setting into a fine velvety finish that feels like a second skin. Yes. So I feel like this is for the people, probably like me, mm -hmm. um, that likes a long-wearing pigmented lip product that's not, matte. But not, not sucking the life out of your face. Correct. I not like that, that crumbly. Too. Yeah. Bleh. Like, so, bleh. yeah. Yes. I don't like that. We don't like the feeling Ugh. yet. <laughs> we don't like that. So <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. So I and feel the like... older I get, the more comfortable I want to be. That's true. So yeah. I feel like they're going towards that. This image looks rad. This yeah. looks like YSL. It does. I thought this, when I originally saw it, was like YSL. Fancy. Like it looks thin. It looks pigmented. It looks glorious. Um, and we've got 12 shades. Yes. You can yes. see them on the screen. They even got like a like a I don't know dirt brown. I know. It's interesting. I actually really like the look of these. Yeah. I'm I'm interested. Um, we don't really know when these are coming. It just says that they're launching soon at all L'Oreal locations, mm -hmm. and they'll be priced at eleven ninety nine per shade. That's going to be US dollars. So that's going to be US information. We here in Australia will They'll get be them next in year. like a year. And you'll be getting uh, seven of the shades. Yes, and <laughs> they'll, they'll be no longer be very interesting, unfortunately. That's true. Another thing that's coming soon that we don't know the specific details of, mm -hmm. but it, um, there's, there, this is 
getting repetitive, guys. Mm. Um, there is another Mickey Mouse 90th anniversary. I feel like I can't, I can't even leave the house without seeing Mickey Mouse at the moment. It's true. Like and all in 10 the clothing years, stores it's going to be even a... worse. Oh, yeah, 100 years. 100 Fuck years. Dead. I'm just going to hermit for like a year while that's happening. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. I'm going to go on a holiday yeah. to an island where they don't know about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that's correct. Um... <laughs> But I kind of like this though. I, I, I'm mm, a, I agree. Yeah. I, mm, yeah. Okay, so if you don't yeah. know what we're talking about, Mickey Mouse hitting 90th anniversary, which means that they are selling the rights to collections everywhere. Yes. Maybelline has one, uh, Dose of Colors has one, and we've just seen that Melbourne based nail polish brand, Kester Black, has one. Ha- or is, has one coming. coming. We don't That's know so when. That's so exciting. But. I'm going to say, this is actually pretty rad because the other collections I've seen, I'm like, where's the Mickey Mouse inspiration? Yeah. Where is it? You've got a fucking neutral eyeshadow palette and nude lipsticks yeah. with like Mickey Mouse packaging, but, yeah. no, but doesn't actually... There's nothing, there's nothing like it's, about it. It doesn't feel like Mickey Mouse. No. Yeah. Whereas this is five nail polish shades that are all like sort of similar to when um, Bessemer did the Snow White yes. palette. They yeah. take the colours... From from the imagery. Yeah. Um, so you've got a black, you've got a white, you've got a yellow, a red, and a nude. And yeah. if you put that all together... You've got you, Mickey Mouse! You can literally create Mickey Mouse with this. So which cool. I thought was cool. And it's very simple packaging where it's got Kester Black on the front and then the Mickey silhouette on the back. Yeah. I think it's done well and it can fit into their collection really, really, really easily. Um, and it's done. I like this. I, I like it too. Look, look at the nail art from it. I like this because one, I like Kester Black. Yeah. Two, I don't hate Mickey Mouse, but I feel recently that it's just it's, it's too much. Too much. Just pull it back a little bit. Yeah. But to see a very simple collection come out that is Mickey Mouse, like that's Mickey Mouse in a nail polish bottle collection, yes. basically. Yeah. I like it. I like, I like it, it because it's simple and it, it just, it is Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the best one I've seen so yeah, far. I like yeah. it. All right. Makeup Revolution has um, abused us. A desk palette. Yeah, they've made a desk palette. This is the biggest palette I think I've seen. How many shades? 196. No! $17. And I had a look. I Let's zoomed destroy in. it. I know. I zoomed in. 0.9 grams per pan. Ah, uh, they're tiny. But you think one gram pan is pretty standard yeah. for an eyeshadow palette? Yeah. 169 of them. 196 of them, sorry. Yeah. 196 of them. That will contain... Trash. Okay, yes. But that will contain well over 200 grams worth of product. Yes. You need a bathroom scale to measure that. Yeah, you do. You do. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. I hate it. I'm but sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. That, okay. 196 colors and it's nude, blue and green. <laughs> You've yeah. got like three pinks in there. Yeah. Three purples. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do you know what this looks like though? You know when you um sort of get an image and then you zoom in and you make it like pixelated? Yeah. It's like they've taken it like. maybe six colours yeah. and then pixelated them. Yeah. This is the worst thing I've seen in a very long I, time. I I'm hate it. I'm sorry, but I hate it. But also if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna go massive, which you don't need to do, you can sum this up in ten shades Absolutely. very, very easily. But if you wanted to go a massive palette, where yeah. are the extremes in colors? Where yeah. are the vibrant reds, the vibrant yeah. oranges, the true this, the... There's if none you're of gonna it. you're going to have almost 200 eyeshadow pans in a palette, why is it... Like, I feel like this is taking the piss out of Morphe. Yeah, <laughs> it is. They're like, like, oh, Morphe can do it, so can we. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, if you're going to do this, and if you are going to have some such ridiculous amounts of shades... 
you what you need to get you know like on computers where you pick the shade you need that whole rainbow yeah plus the gray gradient oh, plus shit. the browns don't tell them that that's oh. a good idea damn fuck <laughs> how would look retract nice retract that but yeah you do actually need to go that far but i reckon yeah. the reason they haven't done that is because it's too expensive to formulate each of those shades so literally Probably. just take yeah. in maybe 20 shades and then just mix them together mm. which means you can just get a palette of 20 shades and just mix them together yourself yeah um, i I can't – I struggle to understand why this is created. It shouldn't have been created. Can I ask you a question, though? Yeah. $17 mm. for, say, 200 grams of <laughs> fucking eyeshadow, what would the quality be? I garbage. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be very good. It would be garbage. Look at it. I want to see someone hold it. Oh, I hate it. I want to see someone hold it. You could dress as The more as this. I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah. yeah. This could be your Halloween costume because it'll cover your whole body. Yeah, it could. Maybe yeah. maybe that's what our Halloween costume should be next year. It only cost us like maybe yeah. $100 to cover both of our bodies in those yeah, palettes. Yeah, that's true. Very true. You only need a couple of them. Uh, they also have, and I don't know if this is new, but I, when I was searching the site for the big one, I found this. Uh, the Color Spectrum Blue blush palette so this blush palette has 40 shades 40 shades of blush and there's some that are like banana powder why do we... oh. i don't know oh it's contour bronze highlighter and yeah blush but fuck man i just feel like oh, i think i prefer to have 40 individual products <laughs> it's fair it, you'd actually <laughs> you'd be able to fit that properly in a drawer yeah. this you could not it's a stupid idea okay Yes, let's NARS. Do it. NARS. NARS and their bloody Chinese New Year stuff that we can never get in Australia, but I always love it. Bugger. Back at it again. Um, back at it again. All right, so we have seen the collection. It is just. It's red. Cool. Yeah. Red makes my brain. I don't know. Do something weird. Um, so there are three limited edition shades of the Power Matte Lip Pigment. They're nice. Those are oh, nice lip pigments. I, I'm hoping the L'Oreal ones are sort of like that. Uh, yeah, cheaper. that'd be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? And there is also um, a new edition of the Aqua Glow Cushion Foundation. Yeah, so I think these are like just, it's a new compact yes. for the existing product. product. So yes. these are Asia exclusive and they're coming out on the 1st of January. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the packaging is like red and geom red and gold with geometric designs, yep. but the packaging of the actual products is just metallic red. Yes. Um, yeah. They're nice. Look. I think it's beautiful. I yeah. like it because it's simple, but it's a nod to what it's promoting. Yeah. You know, Chinese New Year. Um, I like it. I yeah. Like it. I like it too. Stop making beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Go away. All right. Last thing. Boring. Mm. Jared and Jordan Woods. Yes. Sneaky peek of our lip gloss collaboration. Yes. So I think I'm just going to put it out there. Do we remember when Jared had the little um, glass jars with the cotton with wool the scent yep. and the scents? Lip gloss collection. Yep. I Scented agree. lip gloss. I agree. Yep. I agree. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're done, guys. We are. We're done. If you did miss um, the video, like we said before, about the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, mm -hmm. then it will be... Oh, no, we have to do other stuff first. It won't be on the screen yet. It'll be on the screen at the end. <laughs> yeah, we do. We've got... Mm -hmm. But stuff. <laughs> the time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP. Mm -hmm. And this episode is dedicated to Lady Kate Beauty. Thank, Thank you, you so much for what your a support. Gun. Thank you to everyone who supports beauty news, however you choose to do it. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. We do. Yeah. And if you made it to the end, which hopefully you did because it wasn't a very long episode. Mm -hmm. Fire emoji because we're, we're on, on fire. fire. We got shit done so quick. We did. So proud we of did. myself. Yes. And yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to check out yesterday's video because we like to encourage people to shop. <laughs> it's our secret Fuck. little habit, our I mean, little shame. We are Just the encourage worst. people to shop because then the, you encourage yeah, us to shop and we do exactly. it. Exactly. We are the worst people that ever worsted. Brat worst. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I like sausages. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Okay, we're going yeah. to go get lunch we're and then we'll go. see you guys yes. later. We will. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.